Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous videos, so we have created a virtual machine. So if you click this virtual machine, this is the virtual machine that we have created. And after creating the virtual machine, we have created the key vault. So let's search for key vault here. Oh yeah, there you go. So this is the uh, key vault that we have created. And uh, once we have created the key vault, then we have uh, created the secrets key, which is under settings. So this is the one that we have created named secrets as 300 and in which we have admin info. So that is what it is. So we have created uh, till now and uh, now we'll be going ahead with the task four, which is uh, granting access to the key vault. So for that, we have to go ahead to the policies. So here you can see there is uh, access policies. So click that. And uh, here you can see there is an option called uh, add access policy. So click that. So here one of the note is a key vault supports up to 1024 access uh, policy entries with each entry granting distinct set of permissions. So that is what uh, the note was and coming to the configurations from the template. Let's click that and uh, let's select secret management since we are uh, dealing with uh, secret management. So we'll be going ahead with uh, this option. And uh, once that is done, go ahead to the select principle, which is uh, required in this case. As you can see, there is asterisk symbol. So let's select here. And uh, we have various principles. And in this case, uh, we should select uh, the virtual machine that we have created. So let's select the virtual machine. So if you see the virtual machine, we have given a name of SE300. So yeah, there you go. So you can see SE300 uh, VM lab. This is the one that we have created. So click that and select and make sure you add this. So you have successfully added uh, this virtual machine and make sure that you save it as well. So click save and it is done. So that's it. We uh, so we have to do that set uh, for these access policies. So we have granted access to the key vault. In the next video, we'll be accessing the data with the uh, key vault secret with using the PowerShell. So for this video, I hope you guys understood the concept of this video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to the channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.